your storm team weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So, Josh, you said it's not going to be a bad day for Thanksgiving tomorrow, right? It's not going to be a bad Thanksgiving. And, you know, we, we went back yesterday. Christian Mary's helped me out a little bit. We went back and looked at all the Thanksgivings yes. in history. I promise the viewers we would get that for him coming up. So let's take a look back at some of the Thanksgiving history. Hey, you like hot turkey, Mariah? You like hot turkey? Ooh. Good, because one year <laughs> we actually reached 90 degrees on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving 1965, if you remember that, 90 degrees here in San Angelo. How about cold turkey? 18 degrees, 1938 Thanksgiving. Pretty chilly Thanksgiving that time. Thankfully, it won't be that chilly this time. You like some soggy turkey? Well, we had rain that got up to about 1.6 inches of rain. That happened in Thanksgiving of 1914, but on average, we're usually sitting at about 64 and 39 for your Thanksgiving and you can't really call <laughs> uh, five hundredths of an inch of rain average, but that's the average rainfall for Thanksgiving. So look back at some of the Thanksgivings of the past. We're going to be closer to that average Thanksgiving, not the hot and not the cold. That's the good news. Take a look at the time lapse of the last 24 hours or so because we had the moon set there around 530. Started off with clear skies. The clouds came in as we went through the day, and those clouds kind of hung on as we went through the day, keeping our lid on our temperatures. Only got up into the 50s this afternoon, and that after starting off in the low 30s, a few upper 20s out there this morning climbed up though to 55 this afternoon and we're expecting kind of similar as we go into tomorrow so not as cold tonight as it was last night I'm gonna see temperatures drop down to the mid 30s a cloudy Thanksgiving is on the way before a weekend warm-up and then the cool pattern might be coming back into the Concha Valley it's cool out there right now though 50s across most of the state 52 right now in Wichita Falls it's 55 currently in Waco 52 in San Angelo 50 in Midland and 56 in Corpus Christi 49 your current temperature there in Fort McAvin and in Menard that's where you been socked in in the clouds. Also a little bit more humidity, so you can't warm up as much. 52 right now in San Angelo, 51 in Sterling City, and 48 currently in Ozona. Now we've had those winds that have been a little bit on the variable side, but notice they're shifted more out of the south and out of the southeast. That's going to increase the moisture, and that means that the clouds are going to be hanging around. Could even see some patchy fog at times down there along the I-10 corridor where the dew points are in the 40s and the humidities right now in the 70s. So the clouds will hang around a little bit tonight. They might clear out by the time we head into tomorrow, starting off fairly cloudy with temperatures in the 30s. Where the clouds have been holding longer, though, you're going to be in the mid-40s down there along the I-10 corridor, but to the north sitting in the 30s. And then tomorrow, climbing up into the upper 50s, low 60s, the clouds might clear. I think they're going to be a little bit more stubborn, and they'll come back as we go into the evening, starting off your Black Friday there, midnight around 49. Clearing out those, we get through the day on Black Friday. You're going to start off in the low 50s and upper 40s for your Black Friday, and then clear skies coming in as we head to your Friday afternoon. We'll see those temperatures climbing up into the upper 60s and low 70s, feeling a little bit more like spring out there. You can see the live radar network. We were watching a few of these light showers over towards Runnels and Coleman County. That's about it, and as dry air works back in, you can see this brown color here on the water vapor imagery. That's going to really close off our chances of seeing any sort of rainfall, although the clouds will be hanging around. You can see the rain going on right now, though, from Austin over towards Houston, also towards San Antonio. If you have any travel plans there this evening, you might be dealing with some of that rainfall, but high pressure is going to be dominating our weather for the next few days, and that means those temperatures are going to be hanging around kind of where they are and the clouds as well. So the Torque and Turkey bringing you your travel forecast. Thursday, we're going to be all right. Tomorrow, if you're making any last-minute traveling on Thanksgiving. Friday, a little bit of rain potentially on our eastern counties to start off the day, and then the clear skies, dry air comes back in. The clouds hanging around on Saturday. Maybe some rain to our south, but Saturday's a pretty good travel day. Sunday, we'll have to watch out for the potential for some snow in the panhandle. Otherwise, you're dealing with some clouds. And then Monday, not too bad, although that cold front it's going to be working in. That's why the snow's coming in the panhandle. Going to see those temperatures drop as we head into Monday. But the good news is traveling doesn't look like too bad of an issue here in Texas. Tonight, down to 36, mainly clear, not as cold. Winds on the calm side. And for tomorrow, we're going to be climbing up not to 57. You'll see that seven-day forecast here in just a little bit. Those are yesterday's numbers. Sometimes the graphics don't want to work with you. Thursday, 60 degrees, mainly cloudy. We get the sun back on Friday up to 74, 79 Saturday. And another cold front comes in as we head towards Sunday and Monday. It's going to knock our temperatures down to low 60s, upper 50s, bring us another freeze Monday morning. And then we're warming back to the 70s as we head towards the middle of the week. We'll be right back.